Paramus. Uh, dispatched Truth to the Galaxy for some entertainment, but it's proving to be widely disappointing. So first up shall be a life's vow. Well, I cut some of that earlier audio out from the archive. Now that if you, I've been editing the archive stream, not the archive stream, but the Let's Play-ish episodes are being done in a more edited and presented fashion. I'm trying to go for something like Gopher's Let's Plays with a few of my own spins. All right. Having succeeded in destroying the Gamelus Pluto frontline base, the Yamato leaves the solar system, plunging into the awe-inducing sea of stars that is the Milky Way. hours and we'll be out of the solar system. I hear you. Humanity is taking its first steps from home all the way out into the Milky Way. Feeling nervous, Bernadette? I am, actually. And I'm glad you're here with me. Aww. Oh. This could be it. Old Tobia has finally struck cold. One small leap for man, one giant leap for Tobia. Don't refer to yourself in the third person, dude. Er, Tobia? Bernadette, I... I just wanted to say... Oh, Chitose! You've gotta be kidding me! <clears throat> yep, got blocked. So, do you guys decided to come up to the observation deck too? Wait, am I interrupting something? You are very perceptive. And yet still kind of crass. But no, of, of course not. I mean, um... Oh gosh, I swear, I've got the worst timing ever. Okay, you are more perceptive than I anticipated. <laughs> so, Chitose, what brings you here? I mean, we're leaving the solar system, but all I can think about is Earth. I got orders all of a sudden, and now I'm here. I didn't even say goodbye to everyone at the lab. Goodbye, you say. You guys had to say goodbye to your group. The, the space pirates, I mean. There'll be plenty of time for that once we get back from Miskind, right? <clears throat> well, not for everyone. Er. Oh, I guess now's a good time as any. I've got things to tell you, Chitose. Do you mind listening? Of course not. After the Jupiter War, Crossbow and Vanguard's operations were centered around Earth. I'm going to tell you the reason we decided to move to Mars. As the Jupiter War drew to a close, a group of space pirates known as the Cross Guard Van Crossbone Vanguard vowed to continue fighting the evidence of the Empire. It is here we find Tobia, pilot of the Crossbone Gundam X-1, buying time for his allies to sit to escape by single-handedly keeping the enemy forces at bay. I like the framing narrative for this where all is set by somebody telling a story to someone else. Sadly, my, all my massive upgrades are not going to be on this robot. <clears throat> Damn it all! We're surrounded! Sorry, Tobia. I shouldn't have asked you to cover our escape. No worries. You, Yona, and the others need to get out of the sector, old man. But what will happen to you? I'll catch up. Bernadette will be fine, too. Roger that. Don't die, kid. Wasn't planning on it. Damn Jupiter Empire, S trying to slide in while the Gamelons hit Earth. Oh, right then. 
The crossbone vo forces can't Federation forces can't make it, so you have to dance with the crossbone vanguard. Me and the Skull Heart are gonna finish what Kincaid and Captain Rona started. Just you wait, Bernadette. I'm gonna make it back to you. And we know he does. So beat everyone, don't die. Okay, extra counts will be increased, but we get it level five. Ooh. So the key here being is I'm at level five. So I can do uh, five points of ES action, but it won't go up when I kill enemies. Alright, so we try. We've got two groups of three, each with a two batil with two batillas and a Pez Batilla. So two off so basically two Zaku's and a command Zaku. Um So I have to roll roll with them. Make so if, you rush, if I rush straight up the middle, they're all going to flood me and I'm dead. <clears throat> My best bet is swing to the side. Hit him from here. Alright, so these are all animations we've seen before. I'm going to try to go through a couple of, couple of these today, so... One more Imperial surround around Earth. Crux Dogaty is dead, but it doesn't mean the fighting is over. Okay, get a good hit in. And you can't touch me. Alright, there's one for this. That's, that's my action. Alright, so you can directly attack me. Haha, <laughs> but you can't touch this. Uh. That's one. Those two are trying to flank. Flank, but I got no, I've got these two in a good position. Wait, these suits, are they from the Jovian Empire? NIF-91, that's an Earth Federation model. You there, the Gundam, you're with the Crossbone Vanguard. Y yeah, I thought so. There are other reasons you'd be fighting the Empire. My squad was in the Jupiter War. I helped cover your butt when you attacked that transport. Whoa! Need to watch out. I'm pretty sure you, they know you're the enemy. I sure as hell hope so. The thing I wanted more than to square off with them. They'll cover you. Give them another taste of hell. Thank you, but still, be careful. No reason. Thanks, but no thanks, pirate. There's a reason why I'm in this Gundam here. Let's do this. It's too late to slow down now. Any ally unit is defeated, so victory conditions have changed, so he can't die. So what I'm going to do is attack him. So we have no... There's still people left who want... And there are still people left who still want to. Alright, I'm going to keep fighting the only way I know how. Alright, we're hit in. Alright, so I want to keep, keep with my current tactic of flanking. I'm going for flanking. Can move you up. Alright, I can't hit you, but I can hit you. Um... Okay, so... I'm gonna use, actually gonna use a boost dash. I'll you be able to move up. And finish off this Pez Batilla. Actually, you know what? I will use. Oh no, I can't do this. Can't burn both. Might as well burn both. Oh, you got a bunch of spirit commands. A lot of healing. Alright, let's leave this alone for now. Yeah, you're gonna finish him off. Space Pirates, the protectors of life, here! 
someone up there likes me. Time to turn it up. Oh, I probably should actually cut show you his attack cutscene. Ah, oh, well. Oof. Both, both got hit, but got shield defended in there. All right. Moving to attack range. All right. Let's see his attack dialogue. All right, only with 10% hit chance. Just for good measure, let's... So this... Great start of turn. This one lasts until you hit... Until... You take damage? Okay. I'll have to turn this one on. Just in case he hits me. <laughs> and you're done. All right. Why, well, yes, yes, it is. All right, so you have a higher chance of hitting me, but. I can finish you off with pretty much anything, so I'm just going to use the Head Vulcan here. That is very light damage. And you're gone. You die alone. Okay. Twenty-eight. <clears throat> Whatever. A script for Will be and Bullseye and Flicker will both be applied. So what I do is use multi-action. If I can hit. Everybody with the Zan Buster. So I will finish you and then move on to the next target. Maybe change my usual dialogue. <clears throat> nope, same regular dialogue. The toast. Are you and I get a new action. I can use this again. Get you. Nice. Okay, so I got you. And then... So I can hit him with the BBSR. So, what I'm going to do next is... Since you are the last one left... The X-Action. Get the multi-action with you. Have you finished them off with the Beam Rifle. Then once you've dropped him, I can use the VBSR to soften you up. 
the OVSBR rather. God, I love the Gundam sound effects. All right. I'm not, di not dead, but you're almost there. Looks like that's our low hit point dialogue. Okay, so that's you two out of the way. That's two left, one command robot, and then you. Alright. Alright, so you need a beam rifle from here. Save energy. You're still not likely to hit me. with the Zambuster. We'll kill him, but it'll leave him alive. We'll, we'll, we'll soften him up. Oh, the fact that basically got, like, you're a Gundam, you are officially classified as, a, as the White Demon. Alright. 85% hit chance. 85% hit chance. I switch to this. I, can hurt, I have a higher chance of hitting if I hit back with a head Vulcan. So, if I move closer... If you are weak enough, the head Vulcan will kill you. That's that turn. One vampire left. All right. You have a thirty. You have a less than thirty percent hit. Oh, I get attack first. <laughs> With a ninety-eight hit chance. You're done. Thank you for playing. And that clears the map. Your space pirates sure are something. I seem to recall that Gundam saving us in the Jupiter War. Yeah, but I wasn't the one piloting it. You weren't? But the Skullheart was their pride and joy. I'm carrying out their legacy. Well, if what I saw was an indication, you couldn't be more right for the job. So are you out here by yourself? Er, you could say that. I guess I'm kind of what you call a deserter. Say that again? Wait a minute, you heard me. I said kind of. How can you be kind of a deserter? You were no threat, but sighted patrol duty, you know? Then the Gamelins attacked. I'm the only one who made it out alive. Oh. That's not being a deserter. That's being called that's called being stranded. Nothing to do with an advocate. Mars was the only home I ever knew, so I decided to head back. You were born on Mars? Yup. I know the visor's kind of in the way, but I've got red eyes. My family's already long gone, though. Why would you go back? We carry Jovian forces while we're on duty. Managed to intercept the communications. Seems they have a squad acting on Mars. Did you say Mars? Yeah, the Empire's gonna hit Earth again while it's still reeling. They're gonna use Mars as their front line. That would explain why there were so damned many of them around Earth. I passed the message to the higher ups, but I don't think command's gonna mobilize. I mean, they have their hand. I mean, they have their hands pretty full with the Gamelins. Yeah. It was up to me, and the rest of my company got crushed. The survivors made their way back to Mars, and Mars is home. 
but I'm, I'm working alone. I might not be able to do much, but like hell, I'm gonna let the Empire get away with this. Mars, huh? Heads up, something's coming. And Gamblins! Gamblins! Damn it all, they're here too? What do you think you're doing? What do you think? I'm catching them. Mars is important, but I'm not gonna let them go. Okay. You're gonna die. I can handle this alone. What, you think I'm gonna just stand aside? I guess you wouldn't. I don't think any Earth one would. Alright then, you want to mess with Earth? We're, go Earth? we're gonna hit him back hard. That's what I like to hear, soldier. Okay. So defeat, so, so defeat all these guys and... Nobody dies. Oh, and we're already in pretty tight shape. Bring it on, Gamelins. Who the hell knows why you're here, but you're gonna find out what it means to mess with Earth. I don't care if I'm the last man standing. I'm not throwing in the towel. And I was born I was brought in this world for a reason, and I'm gonna keep that promise. Okay, that's an interesting phrasing. Well, they're bombers. Nice! What hit KO! That's what I want to see. Got three bombers. Is everything to boost my power? No. Let's see if I can just soften these guys up. Because GSBR can one hit kill one of these guys. I can't do much, can't do that much more. I got two of them. Alright, switch to some different weapon. Let's use the beam rifle. It's a lower hit chance, but it uses ammo, so let's see if my power for defense. Also, the BBS, also BSR always fires first. But the beam rifle doesn't. And it's a lower target of hitting. So that's, as a member of humanity, I will fight all alien invaders. So I use the same animation with him piloting as with, uh... Okay. So Zanbuster uses ammo, which is nice. And also his attacks in general actually are much lower to hit. So this can possibly, minus the armor, one hit KO that. So I'm going to target you. Okay, Gamelins. I can be... That's a weird phrasing. I could be just be farting into a nebula for all I know. That's a... That, that's, a that's a sentence somebody wrote. I'm still gonna try to do something. I mean, I get the sediment because it's a space version of farting into a hurricane. But... Okay, so the crit animation here. All these the, the, the kill animation. Oh, good animation. Yep, he's dead. 
Alright, so you're gone. Okay, I can't... I need to head Vulcan. Get some ammo to finish you off. That 100% hit chance and I'm attacking first. Okay. Alright, these are the three. Point blank range. I don't need a power bat. I'm going to hang on to this. Because I may need to heal myself. Switch to the uh, short versions of the next few packs. Okay, 50 feet right. Softening up these guys pretty, pretty well. Got the beam rifle. 70% hit chance for them. 79 for me, not a great shot, but looks good. 41% chance of the Palmyria assisting, though. That's an issue. Let's see how this goes. Miss. Counterattack. I miss, too. And support attack on the Palmyria, which also misses! Okay, this is going to take a lot of power, but it's 100% hit chance, and it's against a cap ship, so that's good. Alright, top it up really well. Oh, shield the fan softens them up pretty well, but I'm not really low power. Okay, you. Are right, you there? I'm gonna take them out. And you're done. That leaves these two over here. Hundred percent hit chance, and you can't touch me. Okay. Okay, so I'm in a better position. All right, I'm in a better position for you to go after me. All right, a whole bunch of points back. My energy is super low. I think it's sort of attacks, so it's just gonna dodge. Oh no, beam rifle, that works, try to finish you off with the beam rifle. And that's something else we attack you with. Nope. Yes! That's you that's you gone. And Premier's gonna support attack. 1% hit chance. I made it drop the dead to 10. Okay. Damn goblins, I don't know if we can do this. Watch out, we got more incoming. Oh god, really? Cap ships. Hopefully the ships. They're firing. Take evasive maneuvers. Ah! Hey! You gotta be kidding me. Dying in a place like this. Let me get out of here. Follow my lead. No, no. I'm staying. What are you saying? We run and they're just gonna follow. I'm gonna stay here. Provide a distraction. But what if... They just knocked out my, th they knocked out my thrusters. If we run, I'll just hold you back. Now go. It's every soldier's duty to protect civilians. You're serious. The Earth has a serious need for people. 
everyone left needs to fight. Don't throw your life away. Not when I need you to do me a favor. Yes, sir. Now go. Get out of here while they're still after me. I'll, I'll never forget you. Yeah, same here. You've got a job to do. Yes, sir. Here we go. Wait, I never even got his name. Hell, he didn't get mine either. Do it, Mr. Skullheart. Mars is counting on you. Bring it on! You're gonna learn something today. And cut back to the present. We were fighting on Mars because of that soldier. We were. Phobia, I had no idea. This is the first this is the first time I've ever told anyone. Why did you wait so long? Because when we finally pushed the gamblins out of the solar system. And one more thing. It's okay, Tobia. Really, if talking makes you feel better. And I don't and I know I don't know the whole situation, but it seems like that soldier did what he felt he had to. Er and you did save Mars. Well, he saved your life. And you did what he asked you to. He did, didn't he? We're all here because someone did the same for us. I'm going to repay that debt. So we're going to Iskandar in the hopes of saving the Earth. And aren't you too, Tobia? I am. Thank you. And that was a tough story to tell. Er, that's remember something else I have to do. We'll make it, Tobia. All the way to Iskandar and back. Yeah. Wherever you were, I owe my life to you. I won't waste it. You and those like you, you'll be coming with us in spirit. So there's medallion, force reactor, and multi-sensor. And a bunch of cash. And a bunch of tack points! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.